Good morning, folks. It has been a fun 24 hours for filament watching. Up, flip, twist, and down. Of course, much larger ropes are incoming on the east, complemented by plasma ejecta streaming out of a massive active region with large sunspots. We're going to see the Earth-facing quiet effect dominating those spots and the solar flaring, but major space weather news abounds as we took an interplanetary shockwave impact yesterday, and it was a fascinating day all around. We'll come to spaceweathernews.com, but look at the last 24 hours in 211 angstroms instead of 193. No big eruptions, Earth-directed or otherwise, and it's that dark patch up north, a negative coronal hole, that set the stream our way that impacted yesterday. We'll get to that momentarily, but first let's look at the solar flaring. Woof. You wouldn't think our star had flatlined given the size of the sunspots up north, but they are magnetically separated and until that changes, there's less likelihood of a major eruption. Remember that the surrounding penumbral magnetism is not the same as magnetism in the umbral cores. Let's take a look at the shock wave that hit us. That's the leading density wave of the stream bunched up by the faster particles behind it, like snow on a shovel. Then you see plasma speed and temperature begin soaring, and there's a chance they could rise even further. The KP index shows only the level 1 geomagnetic storm, but once more, the K and Q indices are telling us that the KP is too conservative, especially when you see what the GOES magnetometer did. That is a major whack. Our shield took the full count getting up from this guy, and when you see this, you know the electrical disruptions will follow. This is just one of multiple transformer fires reported during the storm event in the United States, some of them in a couple high traffic areas as well. CenturyLink and AT&T also had to notify Central PA 911 about a major fiber link failure affecting service at that same time. I believe the airline industry lucked out this round, but not the nuclear industry. Indian rocks, electrical disturbance in a high voltage transmission line shut down generators and after that, the reactor, per the safety plan. Across the pond, that cracked reactor housing now isn't so pretty on the inside either. Electrical trip, shut down number two. Let's stick around at RSOE for a moment. Go to the methane alert. The release is already challenging records and they say they can't even think about mitigation for a month. Our top news story is for the new Electric Universe theorists. Definitively, it is the spin, not the gas content, that determines whether a galaxy is a spiral or a blob. I don't suppose any of you guys out there know why the faster spin would be so important, he said almost insultingly. Folks, last night I did post that public Deeper Look episode, number 96, almost 30 minutes of podcast-style discussion, but unlike Fly on the Wall, I added things for you to look at as well, suspiciousobservers.org. Also, folks, time winding down. Come here, the top scientists and professors in our community deliver head-spinning insights and research into how our world really works and what's happening around, above, and within it. Observing the Frontier page is linked for you below this video and at suspiciousobservers.org. We've got the current pressure and radar forecast in the top viewer locations, followed by shots of our star to close. It's 6.25 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.